Welcome. Our focus today is a restorative yoga, a slow, deep practice, followed by yoga nidra. I call it a stress-free zone practice or a chill-out yoga. We will need as many props as you can possibly find at home. Yoga bolster. If you don't have yoga bolster, you might need uh, pillows. You need two blankets and two yoga blocks. Let's begin in child pose, please. Bring your big toes to touch and separate your knees mud width apart. And rest your forehead on the floor. Begin to turn awareness to your breath. Facilitate your breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Breathe into your side ribs, back ribs. As you exhale, increase the tone of your pelvic floor and your abdomen, abdominal muscles. Release any tiredness, release any tension from your body. Your skull is heavy, relaxed, feel the support of the mat or, or your hands, if your forehead is resting on your hands. And surrender, letting go. Your body is heavy, relaxed. Slowing down, inner rhythm and breathe all the way down to your hips to your pubic bone to your pelvic floor Notice your thoughts, consciously let go of thinking and stay with your breath. Our next position is downward facing dog, a restorative version. So you would need your yoga bolster or pillows. The idea is to support the weight of your head. So you would need to adjust really depending on your body type. You can see me first. You want to rest crown of your head, your forehead on your pillows or on your yoga bolster, something soft. You can as well take your yoga blocks and adjust the height, create pillows, blanket and Come forward to your hands and knees, spread your fingers wide apart and come up slowly with knees bent, lift your sit bones up and back. And first thing to establish is release your forehead, release your head with gravity, allow the 
head to become heavier. You can keep your knees bent if it's easier or straighten your legs. Please take time to position yourself comfortably. Your breath lengthens and deepens. We will stay here for three minutes. Elbows are straight, firm the muscles of your arms. Lift your sit bones. Press your thighs back, ground your heels down. And release your head with gravity. Your forehead is gently supported. Your breath lengthens, deepens. Adho Mukha Svanasana. The architecture of your body is steady, committed, Palms pressing down, legs are straight, breathe into the back of your heart, side of your ribs, throat relaxed, your jaw relaxed, soften your eyes, and find a rhythm of your breath, your breath is long, you may want to introduce a count, so you breathe in, count of six, exhale, count of six, let's do a few rounds together, exhale completely, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, again, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, six, Five, four, three, two, one. A few more on your own. You can increase the count to count of eight or ten, or cut it down to four if six is too much. Keep your body strong, head relaxed, jaw relaxed. supported inversion restorative downward facing dog last one last round gently release your knees back down on your mat and come back to your child pose Exhale through your mouth. (sighs) 
to let go of any tension from your shoulders around your neck your sit bones grounded resting on your heels Body, the body is heavy. Our next pose, Uttanasana, restorative Uttanasana variation. You would need two core blocks, and again, it really depends on your flexibility. You might want to start from two blocks. So you will position the crown of your head on top of the block. It looks like this. You start from feet hip width apart. You can go actually a little bit wider than your hips. Bend your knees and rest your fingertips on, on your mat. And gently rest your head, resting your head on top of your block. Adjust the stance. You can stay with knees bent. And then maybe you can straighten your legs. And breathe deeply, fully release your head, head has to be supported, let go of holding any tension in your arms. If you have more flexibility, you can straighten your legs, press your thighs back. Feel the stretch in your glutes, in your calves, in your hamstrings, releasing your spine. Your breath lengthens, deepens. Your head is heavy, eyes are soft. The whole point of restorative yoga is to let go, surrender, become more receptive, allow the pose to work on you, releasing the tension from your muscles, from your joints. And again, introducing breath count. You can do four, six, eight. Listen to the sound of your breath. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five. Four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, two more on your own. Again, you decide, count of six or eight or ten, or reduce it down to four. 
your legs stay straight your legs stay powerful supporting this deep forward bend the stronger your legs are the more you will be able to release your spine and release your head And gently start bending your knees, lower yourself down on your knees, back to child position and take five breaths. Pay attention to the transitions in between the poses. You want to keep that expanded, soft, broad awareness, breath spacious, receptive, inwardly focused, Now please come up again, position your blocks either side of your mat, take each block and place it in the corner of your mat and grab your yoga bolster or again you can grab your pillows, as many pillows as you need, as many blankets you need and please come to standing with your feet wide apart. Prasarita Padottanasana, wide legged forward bend. Feet are parallel, spread your toes, distribute the weight of your body on the inner and outer edges of your feet, neutral and start with your knees bent and rest your forearms rest your forearms on your pillows or on your yoga bolster if you have more flexibility extend your palms forward and rest your forehead on your yoga bolster on top of the pillows again option to keep the knees bent you have more flexibility straighten your legs press your inner thighs back and bow deeply in releasing your head your breath is deep, long, breathe into the back muscles of your legs, your hamstrings, your glutes, your calf muscles, release your spine, relax your jaw.
soften your eyes Breathe all the way down to your pelvis, all the way down to your pelvic floor. Intensify the stretch, you can lift gently your kneecaps, breathe again into your hamstrings, take your sit bones back and apart, opening your pelvic floor, and as you exhale, just gently tone your pelvic floor. Inhale, release your belly. Introduce breath count six, eight, or ten. can go even deeper removing all your blocks removing pillows out to the sides and bow deeply in rest on your forearms you choose what works best for your body this is too much come back again to your pillows come back to your bolster use your blocks and then again come up on your fingertips spinal extension lengthen your spine lift your chin and exhale, bow in again. Now again, come up on your fingertips, walk your torso towards your left leg. All the way to the left, stretch, right rib cage and lean over your left leg just one breath here exhale come back to neutral lengthen exhale walk your hands to your right open your left rib cage take your left hip back And come back to your neutral our zigzag your feet towards each other and bow forward Uttanasana place your hands on your hips roll your shoulders back and slowly come up to standing just for a moment
eyes are closed feel the energy shift and open your eyes come back again to wide-legged position feet parallel bend your knees hands on your hips and bow in come up on the tips of your fingers lengthen your spine exhale fold in inhale extend your elbows come up pathway now walk again all the way to the left Parshvakonasana you can take your block and position inside of your left heel resting your hand on top of your block bend your front knee 90 degrees and position your right hand on your hip twist to the right rotating your spine from your bottom ribs all the way to your upper ribs the rotation in your spine and extend arm and come back to neutral inhale lengthen extend your spine lift your chest and chin exhale walk to the right turn your right foot out bend your front knee 90 degrees grab your block side angle second side back leg straight extend the top arm next to your left ear and turn more to the left exhale both hands down extend your spine exhale flex inhale extend now turn your right foot deeply in and turn your left leg out pointing the shortage of your mat grab both blocks Parshvottanasana your back foot is turning deeply in front leg is straight adjust the height of your blocks maybe medium height or without the blocks if you're tighter in your hamstrings stay on the highest height of your block lengthen your spine exhale bow in deepen your breath try to straighten your front knee both legs are straight pressing into the back heel back knee straight intense hamstring stretch and transition again pivot on your left heel come back to neutral take your blocks with you lengthen neutral exhale bow and walk your hands to the right your right foot turns out your back foot turns in adjust the height of your blocks straighten your front leg inhale lengthen your spine lift your chest and chin exhale bow in and breathe here release front knee straight back knee straight three breaths
take your right outer hip back more, left outer hip forward more. Now, slowly come out, this pose, pivot your right foot in, turn your right foot in, one more, prasarita, bow deeply in. Bow like straight, lift your sit bones, shift your weight on your toes, grounding your heels and bring the crown of your head towards the mat. Engage your legs and the core more and clasp your hands behind your back. Bring your shoulder blades closer towards each other. Take your shoulders away from your ears and release your neck. Powerful legs. Shoulders stretch. Change the clasp. Opposite thumb on top. Couple more breaths here. Release the clasp, bring your hands down, inhale, come up part way. And zigzag your feet towards each other and bow in Uttanasana, feet hip width apart. Fold in. And slowly transition down to your knees. Sit on your heels upright. Take a moment to observe the effects of this practice. We'll continue this journey going to Yoga Nidra. We will need two blankets. One of the blankets will go right at the top of your mat. The blanket is folded. This is a cushion for your head. So you will rest the back of your head on top of this blanket, right at the edge of your blanket so you have a space for your cervical spine also we'll need a bolster a bolster goes underneath your knees like this open your feet wide apart now your second blanket will go right on top of your pelvis. You can also position a few pillows here to make it a little bit more heavier. Adjust your position. You have to go a little bit lower down so I can keep the space here at the back of my neck. Slide my bolster a little bit more forward.
worth to invest your time to position yourself comfortably the opt optimal positioning for your body you can let go bring your arms to shavasana position soften your eyes allow a few deeper breaths transition breathe into your belly let your belly come out on your inhalation and relax back fall back on your exhalation let your breath be like waves as if you were floating on the water Feel all the points of contact where you're touching the floor. The weight of your pelvis resting with heaviness, resting on your mat. the back of your chest, the ribs, shoulder blades, the back of the shoulders, observe, be receptive, let your breath become slower feel the back of your arms touching the floor feel the different surfaces Your head is resting on the soft blanket, your shoulders resting on your mat, and your hands are part of your arms resting on the floor. Feel which knuckle or knuckles are touching the floor. Both legs are heavy, relaxed. Your abdomen is soft. If any adjustment needs to be made, attend to it in a very soft, calm way.
Relax your thumbs, the hinge of your thumbs, your wrists. Soften the palms of your hands. The fingers gently flexed. Soften your eyes, your jaw, relax the hinge of your jaw, your upper and lower teeth, cave of your mouth, relaxed, the eyes become still, and notice when they get busy. give them permission to soften, to relax. The eyes are resting back in your eye sockets. Relax your forehead. The space between your eyes, your temples, ears, inner ears, your sense of hearing. Stay receptive without trying to shut the world out. But perhaps trying to change the way how we process the world, how we interact with the world. sounds in the space you are in. Listen without reacting to whatever you hear, without labeling it, reacting to it. Just simply listen. Experience as a sound escape. Your breath moves like 
gentle waves in your belly. Feel how your breath comes in through your nostrils, cooler, and goes out warmer. Let your mind drift like a meditation between waking and sleeping. as the conscious mind gently reaches into the unconscious. Thoughts feelings, images, memories, Let yourself drift drift on the ocean of your consciousness held, supported, carried, safe.
allow a few deeper, gentle breaths. Let your breath widen your ribs, fill up through the sides of your chest. and bring some movements back into fingers, toes, feet and ankles, wrists stretch and move as you like slowly coming back to your life back to your conscious awareness preserve that gentle sense of calm stillness Slowly turn to your side. Rest on your side for a moment. Gently come up to sitting. We will sit for a few minutes. Sit on your pillows, on your yoga bolster. Be easeful in your transitions. Soften the hinge of your jaw. Perhaps use the tips of your fingers and gently massage the hinge of the jaw to release, release the muscles of your jaw. Relax your tongue. Put your hands over your eyes for a few moments. Sweetly block out any light. your hands over your ears rest your hands on your thighs Duram Sukham Asanam Steady Easeful Posture
Find the heaviness at the base of your pose down to your sit bones gentle lift through the crown of your head collarbones broad Soften your forehead, your eyes, your eyelids. Bring your palms in front of your heart. With gratitude, bow your head to your heart. Namaste.